What is this, a uh, 65 fastback? Oh, bro, you need a paint job on it. <laughs> Hey, yo, who's this? Is this 99 Oak? No, no, it's... Yes, it is. No, 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 this is 99 Oak. Please, come in. <laughs> oh, damn. Mm. Oh, I need to quench my thirst a bit. Mom? Mm. Yeah, I'm here. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's your guy, Jesse, back at it with another reaction. And on this spooky October night, we are going to be watching Fright Night 1985. And this is actually going to be our second vampire film reaction. I watched The Lost Boys last month. Absolutely loved that film. Loved the soundtrack. Loved the characters. And I'm not particularly afraid of vampires. But, you know, what I do like is that they can hide in plain sight. They can be charming. Like what we saw with Max, right? Just in plain sight. Nice guy. Charming guy. And little did we know he was pulling the strings, you know, he was the puppet master the whole time. Heck, it even kind of led us to think that he was. And then, <laughs> and then they kind of put the curtain over our eyes again. And it wasn't until the end that we got confirmation that yes, he was the head vampire. And so those are some, you know, kind of elements that I do like uh, within kind of the vampire lore, I guess. And so I don't want to ramble on. Let's go ahead and uh, check this out. By the way, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and let's watch Fright Night 1985. By the way, I've done a couple of uh, Stephen King film adaptation reactions, and uh, I'm going to be checking out The Shining very soon. And after that, um, Misery is one that a lot of people have actually brought up, so one that I'll check out soon as well. That one will probably be November, though. Fright Night. Oh, I like I like that title card right there. I love the night so. Now we're getting Have like some so old school, morning. early kind of dialogue wording. Your lips are so red. Are they? Hey yo. To kiss them? <laughs> Somebody's about to get to third base, home base probably. <laughs> the sound effect. <laughs> All right, it sounds cartoonish, man. Me so strangely, Nina. Not you, Jonathan. Your neck. <laughs> Has anyone ever told you it was beautiful? Jesus. <laughs> Come, lay your head on my breast. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> so a vampire film within a vampire film? Stop, creature of the night. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> who are you who interrupts my nightly feeding? I <laughs> am Peter Vincent Vampire Killer. <laughs> He's got it backwards, bro. <laughs> Convincing, man. I, I would be if I was a vampire, I'd be scared to death of that guy. <laughs> Come on. Hopefully, you turn the state the right way. <laughs> the moans, dude. <laughs> the cries of agony, just the way that they're <laughs> they sound. Hey, yo. <laughs> they built a little fort right there to. <laughs> Charlie, Peter Vincent's on. Get Peter Vincent. But you love him. But I love you more. Hey, yo. <laughs> Journey into horror. Blood castle. Charlie, stop it. I started. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the evil laugh, dude. Wait, isn't he the vampire hunter? Why would he laugh? <laughs> Why would he give us an evil laugh? <laughs> We've been going together almost a year, and all I ever hear, Charlie, stop it. <laughs> yeah, after a year, man, come on. It's time to put out. I'm just scared, that's all. <laughs> Let's get into bed. Oh, hey, yo, there we go. Mean it? Nice. Waiting time is over. All right, what do we got here? That looks, <laughs> that looks like a coffin, right? Hey, yo, bro, get your head in the game. Fuck that coffin and then do that to something else. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> All right. Charlie, I'm ready. Amy, you're uh, not going to believe this. <laughs> bro, Put come on, on, man. Put those, carrying a coffin. Put those binoculars down, man. Sure, and they're on the moors, right? Do you want to make love or not? Dude. Literally, the apocalypse could be happening outside. Amy, quick, come here. You, you need to this. focus on what's important. <laughs> come on. Amy! Hey, maybe it wasn't a coffin. I did see two guys carrying something into that house. First you want to make love, and then you don't. 
Charlie, what's wrong? <laughs> that was just a mom. <laughs> How many are you two? Are you kids having a lover's spat? Mom, nothing like that. It says right here that the divorce rate is 76% higher. Couples who don't argue before marriage. Mom, we're in high school. Never hurts to plan ahead. Whoa. <laughs> My dear mother, we are playing poker at her house. Oh, yes, Mrs. Brewster. Well, good night, Charlie. Yeah, uh, good night. <laughs> Bro, come on, man. Good night, Amy. Thanks for helping Charlie with his homework. Anytime. <sighs> See you tomorrow, Charlie. Charlie, you fucked this up, bro. Mom, there are people next door. I guess the new owner's moving in. Didn't I tell you? Bob Hoskins said he finally got rid of the place. Who'd he sell it to? Some fellow who fixes up houses. It's supposed to be very attractive, though. It's gonna take a lot of work. It's like the mom's already thinking of uh, spitting some game at the neighbor. Pending, notification of next of kin. Charlie, what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? You let me down. Again, the world could be going to hell. <laughs> there could be God knows what happening outside. You gotta, you gotta seal the deal, bro. Come on. You. Yo, hey, this dude's hair. Did you finally find out what you're really like? A soft <laughs> evil. <laughs> Call me anything you want. You're the one failing trig, not me. Dude, that hair looks like. Hey, yo. What is this, a uh, 65 fastback? Oh, bro, you need a paint job on it. <laughs> Hey, yo, who's this? Is this 99 Oak? No, no, it's. Yes, it is. Oh. No, 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 this is 99 Oak. Please come in. <laughs> oh damn. Hmm. Oh, I need to quench my thirst a bit. Mom. Mm. Yeah. I'm in here. Have you seen the new guy next door yet? No, but I did hear he's got a live-in carpenter. I love probably gay. No, I don't think so. <laughs> How do you know that I don't? Oh no. So is this trigonometry? Oh, I remember calculus. Sometimes I liked it. Most of the time I hated it. <laughs> Fuck. Oh god. Whoa, okay. <laughs> it just transitioned from that to this? What the what happened? Hi. Huh. Look, I'm really sorry about the other night. Oh, it was my fault. What? Oh, fuck that, it was Charlie's fault. Amy, I love you. I never want to fight with you again. I'm so glad we're getting it's gonna straight. It's going to happen, brother. miserable the last two days. You don't know what it's been like. Second victim whose body Being was able found to go to the lunchroom, talking to you on the phone. Charlie, are you listening to me? A mutilated corpse was found under the North Creek Bridge. With you know what I heard on the police band last night? That wasn't the only murder. The second in two days. Get this. Both of them had their heads chopped off. Can you believe it? <laughs> <You're sick. laughs> Bro, this guy, <laughs> he looks like the dude, his hair and the shape of his head. Charlie? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, dude. Charlie, you gotta pay attention, bro. Oh, you're so cool, Brewster. <laughs> hey, he needs to punch his friend in the face, dude. His friend kind of looks like Beavis from Beavis and Butthead. So he's like a like like the shape of like a shrunken head. Goosebumps book, by the way. Wait, he was painting the windows black. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a vampire film, right? You want to try and keep out the daylight? Jesus, fuck. What are you doing? Nothing. Oh yeah. Would just make sure that it stays that way, kid. <laughs> this guy fucking unhinged. Look at that. All right, bro. Yeah, what, what was so he was just gonna go in there? Like, yeah, you gotta be careful, dude. <laughs> what movie is this? Just squeeze that guy to death. Hey, yo, man. With like my room back in the day. Yeah, I'm not proud of some things that I did, y'all. Hey, man, I was 16, 17, 18. Hey, yo. Grab the binoculars, Charlie. <laughs> His face. <laughs> there we go, bro. Come on. Hey, yo. Hmm. Well, I'll have to edit this, you know, put a blur right there. go oh oh he saw <laughs> oh, all right okay so here's here's our vampire oh oh uh, shit 
Yo, at that distance, uh, could Charlie's eyesight be that good, though, to really see that? I can't believe what's happening next to me. The guy fangs. who bought the house has fangs. That's lovely, Charlie. I have to get up and stuff. <laughs> Explain yourself more, dude. Uh, fangs. So this, so, so he's just inviting women over, kills them, and then this guy disposes of the bodies. But yeah, and then that guy was in daylight. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> get inside. That's cool though. Oh, that's a cool POV. You forgot something. Charlie? <gasps> oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna see him in the bushes, dude. A vampire that eats apples. Oh, <laughs> in a hell of a fucking bite. You see that? That's like a three fourths of that thing gone already. What are you? Mom, I didn't have a nightmare. They did kill a girl over there. How late did you stay up stuck? Mom, I'm not sick! The guy did have fangs. The bat did fly over my head and he stepped out of the shadows. Now don't you see what that means? What? He's a vampire. A what? <laughs> a what? <laughs> Damn it, haven't you listened to anything I've said? Charlie, is this some sort of a trick to get me back? <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm going to the police. You can't go to the police with a story like that. They'll lock you up. All right. <laughs> Throw you in the loony bin, bro. But I sure as hell am going to tell them about the two women. Yep, that's a start. That's good. Good strategy. Because the missing women definitely went in there, didn't come back out. Oh, dude, I wonder what he's got under there. You 289? Sure yeah, probably 289. Yes. Mr. Dandridge? No, no, I'm his roommate, Billy Cole. Lieutenant Linux, homicide. Mind if we come in? Again, this this no, guy's no, no, no. in the daylight, so let's see if we can get the other guy on in daylight. We'll see what vampire tropes, right, are included here. Well, he's away on business. There was a murder last night. Charlie lives next door, thinks he saw the victim in this house. Oh, that's impossible. I was here with Jerry all last night, there was nobody else in the house. And that's a lie, I saw him carry her body out in a plastic bag. <laughs> that's so weird that he would just be in there saying that out loud. I don't think that's how investigations work. The bag I saw had a body in it, not trash. You uh, actually see the body, Charlie? Well, no, but... Okay, let me take you out back. I'll show you the bags we put in the garbage. Okay, let's see them. Look, I can prove he's lying. Let's look in the basement instead. What's down there, Charlie? Yes, Charlie. <laughs> this guy's his line delivery, dude. Obviously, the boys made a mistake, obviously. A coffin! And I saw them carry it in. What? Find Jerry Dandridge in it, sleeping the sleep of the undead. Bro. <laughs> Come on. What are you talking Just about? screwed yourself. He had fangs and he bit her on the neck. <laughs> the guy, dude. Ah, uh, bro, you talked yourself out of the house. Come on. But from the start, this guy was doing a good job of being convinced. Let me tell you something, kid. I ever catch your ass down at the station house again, throwing it in jail? Whatever! Look, Lieutenant, please! Come on, Charlie. You almost had it, bro. <sighs> you could have said, I saw them take something that looked like a body into the basement and get him in there. <laughs> this guy too, bro. <laughs> He's such a smart ass. His mannerisms and at his line delivery. But so he's now on their radar. It's getting darker. Evil! Oh, this guy. <laughs> that hair, dude. <laughs> to what do I owe this dubious pleasure? Vampire knows I know about <laughs> the way, it. He will when he wakes the up. The way this dude talks, man. Uh, what are you talking about? I have a vampire living next door to me. He's gonna kill me if I don't protect myself. <laughs> Come on, Evil, I haven't got time to explain. Tell me what to do to protect myself. Very funny, Brewster. Please, I'm not kidding. <laughs> Don't call me Evil anymore. Should I help you anyway? Look, I've got eight bucks. Help me and it's yours. Eight bucks? <laughs> right. for me to turn down a fool's money. Now, when do you expect the vampire to attack? Tonight. Start with this. You must total faith in it for it to work. Oh, that could backfire, though, right? If he comes for you... <laughs> That'll be the way. Oh, of course, there's holy water. You, you gotta get a priest to say a blessing over it. Do the, like the Frog Brothers go to a church and <laughs> just grab some. That a vampire cannot enter your house without being invited first. Are you sure about that? 
positive. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we'll we'll go with some uh, some tropes here, but let's see if they apply actually, right, to to this vampire. If that's the case, man, you should have gotten some like wooden stakes, something, other than just the the crucifix. Yeah, mom. Someone I want you to meet. Charlie, this is our next door neighbor, Jerry Dandridge. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Charlie. Why is this guy kind of cool, though, man? <laughs> is it just me or is he kind of cool, man? Yeah? Hey, don't be rude. Check in. Just the way he was sitting back and just. What's he doing here? I invited him over for a drink. What? What's the matter, Charlie? Afraid I'd never come over without being invited first? Oh, 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 shit. Now that I've been made welcome, I'll probably drop by quite a bit. In fact, anytime I feel like it. Oh. oh, oh, oh. With your mother's kind permission, of course. Anytime. Ah. Nice that someone interesting has finally moved into the neighborhood. Oh, God, no. Mom is smitten. Charlie, are you all right? Mom, I'm fine. Would that work that way, though? Back to my trig. He's invited one time, Charlie. and then he can just yeah. come in anytime? Soon. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, oh, dude, I would be shit my pants. Is that how that works, though? You invite them one time, and now, you know, they have, like, uh, just free liberty to enter any time they want? And the mom, dude, mom likes them. No. Okay, you got that crucifix on you, bro. God, come on, man. You really needed something else other than... <laughs> come on, bro. Some, some wooden stakes, a flamethrower, a bazooka. Jesus. And the, the kid said he had he has to have full faith in it, so I mean that's a potential barrier. What if he doesn't? I would not go to investigate, man. You got no cover. It, it could come at you from any direction. I'd get in the closet, just be right there with like a couple of stakes, you know? At least I got a way for him to only come towards my front. Oh. Ah! Oh no. Yo, man. <laughs> this guy's kind of smooth. Oh, whoa, oh, wait. I just now saw that. Damn. God damn. <laughs> the reflection, no reflection. All right. Just now saw that at the very end. <laughs> this dude's kind of smooth. <clears throat> His room. Uh. I like that score that's playing. Oh, that's cool. I like that. <laughs> I like this shot right here. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> oh, no, bro. Turn around. Oh, my God. <laughs> you wouldn't want to wake your mother, would we, Charlie? Then I'd have to kill her, too. Right up. Jesus. Where's the cross? Where's the crucifix? Come on, come on, bro, act. <laughs> Do something. Even if you barely stand a chance or no chance. Do you realize how much trouble you've caused me? Spying on me. Almost disturbing my sleep this afternoon. Oh, God forbid. <laughs> come on. about me! God damn, the drywall. I deserve to die, boy. You give you something I don't have. A choice. Forget about me, Charlie. Forget about me, and I'll forget about you. What do you say, Charlie? Oh my god, actually, I'll tell you, I would take that deal. <laughs> Charlie, take the deal. Oh. Fool. Is that option still on the line, sir? <laughs> Damn. But would this would draw attention, more attention to him, right? If someone died right next door? Oh no, come on, bro. All right, a oh, oh, wood pencil. Stab him. Ah. Oh, it, it could have gotten him though as well. Ah. Oh, that looks gnarly. Looks cool though. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh I like that. Oh, God. oh dude. Oh, screw that.
The <laughs> look on his face, bro. I guess he can't, but he could kill them both. Charlie, can you hear me? <laughs> He's like, I'll get you, bro. <laughs> the way he was saying it. My door is stuck. Oh, okay. Charlie! Charlie! Charlie, what is going on? I just had a nightmare. No. <laughs> I had one last night. It was awful. <laughs> no, nothing, nothing, just uh, raccoons in the garbage. But, sweetie, what about your nightmare? No, I'm fine now, honest. I would take the vampire up on his deal. Night, Mom. Then again, you'd always have to kind of feel like you'd have to watch your back and be worried. Like, what if he thinks I'm just too much of a loose end and then eventually take me out? But still, make the deal to buy yourself time, right? Get a plan in place and then see how you can end this bastard. <laughs> I wouldn't get any sleep. <laughs> oh, dude. Who's that? I know you're there, Charlie. I can see you. Close the good dude. <laughs> Close the blinds, What's man. It, Charlie? Scared. You started this, Charlie. I'm gonna finish it. I just destroyed your car, Charlie. <sighs> no. That's nothing compared to what I'm gonna do to you tomorrow night. Oh, no, no, no. Nothing compared to what you did. You, you basically would have destroyed me if you did. Oh, that beautiful Mustang. I know. Needed a paint job, but still. A lot of people who do not believe in vampires, but I do. All right. I have fought them. I have always won. <laughs> that is why they call me the great vampire killer. Watch me do it. <laughs> Bro. He's going to lean on uh, fiction here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Is that how it would work? <laughs> it just blood just keeps you know spewing out onto your face. Vincent, could I talk to you for a minute? Hey, he's local. <laughs> All right. Please, Mr. Vincent, it's important what you want me to sign. You do want my autograph, don't you? No, sir. I was curious about what you said about Shock. believing in vampires. Well, what about it? Were you serious? Oh, absolutely. None of your generation seems to be. I have just been fired. Nobody wants to see vampire killers anymore. All they want are demented madmen in ski masks hacking up young virgins. <laughs> nice. I believe in vampires. That's nice. <laughs> All right. If only there'd been a few more of you, my ratings would have been higher. I have response. one living next door to me. Would you help me kill him? Pardon me. <laughs> right. You know the murder of that girl that happened a few days ago? The guy who lives next door to me did it. He's a vampire. Gotta switch up your approach, Charlie. I am not amused. Listen, I am not joking. I'm serious. <laughs> the look on his face. <laughs> you have to believe me. Oh, you just said you believe in vampires. I lied. <laughs> right, of course. The vampire tried to kill me last night. He's gonna be back after me tonight. If I don't get help, he's gonna kill me. What? Mr. Vincent, please, just listen to me. No! Charlie, you gotta switch up your approach, man. You can't just throw it all out out there like that. You look like a nutball. You? What I'm doing here is none of your business. So you do like him. Anybody home? His friend, dude. Is he even really actually his friend or just kind of more of an acquaintance? There we go. Got some steaks going. What's all this for? Why all the candles, though? <laughs> He'll be dead before nightfall. Who will be? Dandridge. I'm waiting for the guy he lives with to leave and find his coffin and pound this to his heart. That's murder, Charlie. Not a terrible strategy. Amy, what are we going to do? This is just like Fright Night. Another body of a young woman was discovered early this morning. You see that? Somebody has to stop him. It's going to be dangerous going into that house all alone. I mean, you're going to need all the help you can get, right? There we go. Somebody like Peter Vincent, for instance? Yeah. Tried oh. him already. You let us try again before you do anything. What happens if you go into that house and he gets you? Who's going to stop him then? Then he'll be able to suck his way through the entire town. Well, you don't know that. <laughs> be much of a loss. <laughs> <laughs> Just go in there and bash the other guy in the head. Knock him out. Now you promise you're not gonna do anything till you hear from us, okay? okay? Come on. You don't believe me, do you? I love you, Charlie. Come on. There we go. Nice. Like I love you, so I'm I'm willing to be open-minded. There you go, Charlie. She's a keeper. Just gotta seal the deal, man. Come on, don't screw it up again. Yes. Mr. Vincent, could we talk to you for a moment? No, it's not the best time. Please, it's very important. Uh, wait. 
there for one moment. Uh, come in! <laughs> a, a, an autograph, perhaps. It's like this guy likes to keep his prop. Or That's cool, school, though. Look at that. Paper. This is much more important. What could be more important than my autograph? Saving a book. <laughs> All right, bro. Oh, yes. You uh, would care to explain? You remember a fruitcake kid named Charlie Bruce? <laughs> come on, bro. <laughs> Come on. He's the one that believes a vampire is living next door to him? Yes. You know, he is insane. <laughs> oh, yeah, that lunatic, right? <laughs> I do hope he's not a friend of yours. She's got the hots for the creep. We need your help to stop him. He's planning to kill him. With a stake through the heart. <laughs> this guy's performance, bro. He's so quirky. Your friend needs a psychiatrist. Please, Mr. No, Vincent. I'm afraid not. I have been offered a starring role in a major film. I have even had to quit right now. I'll give you money. How much? I have a <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> no hesitation, man. I, I got it all figured out. We all go next door to the neighbor, perform some kind of vampire test to pronounce him human. Like an orgy of the damned. The guy didn't have a reflection, and then you knew he was a vampire. Oh, yes, it was one of my favorite roles. Yeah, feed his ego a little bit, man. Get him thinking about his glory years. I still have the prop. I'm pretty sure you still got every single prop you could get your hands on. <laughs> All right. Jesus, man. Yes, it's for you. Yes, this is Jerry Dandridge. Uh, I'm always willing to help young people. I'm afraid that crosses are out of question. I've been reborn. Ask him how he feels about holy water. How about holy water? <laughs> no, won't do either. Tell him it's just ordinary tap water. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> They're actually having this conversation, bro. Don't bring him over until 6 tomorrow. Oh. Only until 6. Go out tonight after all. His friends bringing him over tomorrow night. Well, he said he was going to be here at 6, right? He said he'd be here. He'll be here. What we saw with Max and the Lost Boys, you know, there was something. He was able to get around the test. So is this guy going to be able to get around the test somehow? Charlie Brewster, I presume. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate <laughs> It's not the first time I meet you, bro. <laughs> Where? The, lair. the creature of the night. Oh, yeah. Nice spooky house, man. Now, shall we go? Wait a, minute, wait a minute, where's your stakes and hammer? Oh, I left them in my bag. You're not going in there without them. I have to prove he is a vampire before I kill him, Charlie. It'd be I nice to have some ammunition. Vampire. I am the one who has to know, Charlie. This is holy water. If a drop touches him, he will blister. I have asked him to drink it. We all watch. He readily agrees. If I'm right and you prove he is a vampire, you're gonna kill us all right then and there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know, Mr. Vincent. Peter Vincent, this is a pleasure. Won't y'all come in? No. So inviting now. Appreciate the hospitality. <laughs> the way he like stares at him, dude. Hey, Jer. They're here. They're here. This guy loves his fruit, man. Rocking a turtleneck. Uh, Mr. Vincent, I've seen all of your films. Very amusing. <laughs> Thank you. Man. Thanks. <laughs> so who are these two attractive young people? Hey, yo. Ed Thompson? Uh, I don't know about him, but. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, wait. <laughs> Walking up to my girl like that, man. Damn. I can tell. <laughs> you see your you know grin. Vampires are supposed to do, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Yes. <Boom>. <laughs> God, it's neat. Ah, dude, Charlie. <laughs> this guy's gonna screw you over in so many ways, man. Jesus. <laughs> this guy. Where do you keep your cough, or do you have more than one, Charlie? It's all right, Mr. Vincent. Quite used to it by now. Charlie even brought the police over a few days ago. You did. Damn right I did. I mean, they didn't believe me any more than any of you. She's over there, like on. Y'all already getting on the other guy's side. Mr. Vincent, give him the holy water. Where Let's is it? Let's see what happens. Come on. And are you sure that this is um, holy water? Positive. I saw Father Scanlon. Blessed. You're ready to run. Protect you with this. <laughs> All right, bro. Wait, 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 wait. Why would he do that? Well, bottoms up. Would have burned him to shit by now. <laughs> yeah, I only have one of those, bro. <laughs> it cost me $2. All right. Well, now, Charlie, you saw that. Are you convinced now Dandridge is not a vampire? It can't be. But, but, but Charlie, you saw it. Now, you know, as well as I do, that vampire can drink blessed water. And it wasn't blessed. Right? Probably not. If he's not a vampire, have him touch this. Oh, Charlie. Oh. <laughs> no reason to compound the error. You've already caused your friends quite enough. 
pain. You wouldn't want to cause them any more, would you? <laughs> Where do you go from here, bro? Like, they're not buying your story anymore. No. And you're finally convinced I'm not a vampire either. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad that's so. I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. You've been a great help. I'm glad to be a service, meaning both of you. Please. Please. <laughs> You'll always be welcome. I like that, Mr. Dandridge. Please call me Jerry. Uh, no. Just He's still know. spitting Welcome game at the too, girl. I expect we have a lot of the same interests. Horror movies and the occult. <gasps> oh, right. Here we go. Something wrong, Mr. Vincent? Uh, no, I... Oh, it... Play it off, bro. It's just my clumsiness. Are you sure? He can tell. I'm, I'm positive. We have been taking up much too much of your time. He knows. He knows now. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. What's wrong with you? Oh, don't tell me he's just gonna bounce and leave and just... You saw something in there, didn't you? Of course not. Our lives depend on... All right. He didn't cast a reflection. Satisfied now? Vincent, you have to... <laughs> he's like, Shit. it's up to you now, but I, <laughs> I'm wiping my hands clean hey, of this. where are you going, pencil dick? <laughs> oh, no, we walk Amy home Pencil first. dick. Oh, I put money that that's actually a fact. One good thing, he'll never believe him now. Hmm. Hey, let's cut through here. Hey, no way. You want people and lights. The more the better. Vampires don't exist. What if you're wrong, evil? Would you walk down that alley then? Fuck. I wouldn't walk down that alley even if I was guaranteed nothing would hurt me. You may be chicken shit, but I'm not. Oh, yo. I bet he's bullshitting. <laughs> yeah, he is. He got me, Charlie. He bit me. You know what you're gonna have to do now, don't you? Kill me. <laughs> Kill me, Charlie, before I turn into a vampire and give you a hickey. <laughs> <laughs> you asshole! You're gonna get you someday. Oh, yeah. He needs to punch this friend in the face, man. Again, is he even his friend? It's more of an acquaintance, man. Oh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> All right, here we go. Scream now, bro. Like the boy who cried wolf. Woo. That's cool. I like that. The dark alley, the fog coming out. Oh yeah. Just slowly creeping, walking behind him. Yep. Time to crap your pants, bro. Charlie, Amy, is that you? That's you, it's not working, I'm not scared. Hey, <laughs> let's see how he reacts, dude. <laughs> Change your boxers now, dude. Oh, you're gonna eat shit, dude. Damn, how long is this alley? <laughs> Looks looks badass though. Oh no! It's, it's thin enough walls to where maybe you can <laughs> feet on one end, hands on the other end, and make your make your way up. Oh, that's cool. Ah! <laughs> oh Jesus! You don't have to be afraid of me. I know what it's like being different. Only they won't pick on you anymore or beat you up. They were picking on him, picking on everybody else. All you have to do is take my hand. Take my hand. Mm. Right, he's gonna get himself a, a sidekick here. Whoa, okay. It was just evil messing around again. Amy, what, what if evil was really in trouble? You're not gonna let him sucker you in again, are you? That was interesting because, uh, I guess... The vampire could, you know, sense some of his vulnerability and some of the doubt that he has within himself. So he said, you know, hey, you know, I'll what do this for you so that they no longer bully or pick on you. <laughs> oh, shit. And the guy accepted. You saw the tears come down. It's like, oh, th this guy kind of understands me. <laughs> I will join him. All right. Well, just stay right there. What's he going to do right there amongst all those people? Oh no, come on, stay with that group. Oh, 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 oh no, why would you run uh, to where no one can see you? Oh no. <laughs> stay there. Who are you calling? Police. Who is it? Me, evil 
Colette. Hurry, there's a vampire out here. Let me in. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. What are we going to do? What are you going to do? Uh... Not me. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Gonna be even more sadistic and weasel like now. I used to admire you, you know that? That was before I found out what a fake you were. The great vampire killer. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Something. Oh, 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 I like that. I like how, you know, the makeup and then the fangs and then, oh, yeah. The oh, dude, his eyes. What have you done to me? <laughs> Will that heal? Or because it's a cross? Master will kill you for this, but not fast, slowly. Oh, oh dude. I say back. Doesn't believe me. Yeah, if uh, there was a cross that did that, would that heal? I'm really scared. You got Peter Vincent's number? He doesn't care about us. I pay him to be there today. Doesn't matter. Well, he'll he'll care now because now he's in uh, he's in their crosshairs. Hey yo, lost the trench coat. Oh no, she won't be able to resist his charm. <laughs> Whoa, some girls filling them up, man. They can't resist that extra stretched out collar. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> oh. Oh, Wait. Wait. Oh. <laughs> she licked her lips, dude. Wait, wait, so, okay, is he getting her in, like, some kind of trance or something? She's freely just walking with him now. I'm sorry, I, I just can't do that. You gotta come. Come on, you're the only one who knows what's going on. Oh, uh, yep. Look at that. Oh, he's controlling her. Hey, yo, she can't resist his charm. And he's got a good head of hair, too. She doesn't stand a chance. Okay, yo. <laughs> Seductive. <laughs> it's like she's still semi there and kind of running from him, but he's bringing her back. This is pretty cool. I like this. I like this little sequence. <laughs> All right, there you go. Well, hell, I guess if Charlie didn't never made a move, then yo. <laughs> All right, yo. She's inviting him to do that now. All right, Jesus. Ah, duh. <laughs> what's gonna happen? What's now? <laughs> Like, I feel like this is turning into some <laughs> different kind of film. He just now noticed that she wasn't there. Come on, man. Oh, okay, that's cool. I like that. I like how they incorporated that right there. Badass. Let her go. You can't do shit there. Ooh. You can probably at least still kick his ass though, you right there. Temper, Charlie. It isn't polite. Ooh. Can't kill me here. I don't want to kill you, Charlie. I want you to bring Peter Vincent to my house if you ever want to see Amy again. Yeah, Yo, he's got to tie up loose ends now. Let her go. I got him. And you go someplace else. Out of my way. <sighs> oh. Oh shit. Damn, in the open, just in front of everybody? I mean, you could have just maybe punched them and kicked their asses, but he did that right there in front of a shitload of witnesses. And probably some people would convince themselves, right? It was dark, dim lighting, I've been drinking a bit, I don't know what I saw. But it's still surprising that he would do that right there in front of all those people. <laughs> Dude, I like I like his performance, man. I like what that guy's doing with this character. <laughs> oh god, bro. 
<laughs> I guess it's not gonna heal, man. Dude, his friend looks ugly as shit. Peter! Who is it? Me, <laughs> Charlie Brewster. Let I'm gonna believe him. Maybe one of them. What are you talking about? Grab this. Come on. Dandridge chased me and Amy. He trapped us in this place called the Club Rape. What are you doing? I'm leaving. But Dandridge has Amy. He says he's gonna kill her unless we come to his house. The police. I I'll call the police. They're not gonna buy it. No, they won't believe you. I've tried. Peter, it's just us. We're gonna have to save Amy. I can't. I was paid to be there today. I know. Don't you still want me to help you? Yes. You're Peter Vincent, the great vampire killer. That is a character in a movie! That, that, that isn't even my real name. I'm terrified. I'm, I'm sorry, Charlie, but I am. I like this moment. Can't do it alone, Peter. If you don't help, Amy is gonna die. Me too, probably. Please, Peter. I'm sorry, Charlie. Good moment right there. I like that. Wow. All right, what do we got here? What's she wearing? Hey, yo. Yeah, I like that moment with Peter, Peter Vincent. You get to see his struggle, right? And, you know, all that time feeling like, obviously, he's an actor, but feeling like he doesn't have much to offer. Where's Charlie? Yo. <laughs> well, I don't think uh, this guy's gonna be breaking out any binoculars and not pay attention to her. He's actually gonna seal the deal. Yo, how old was this actress when uh, <laughs> when this film was made, dude? Because he's got to be in his 30s. Still under his trance. But a mixture of it, right? Because we still see some of her in there, obviously. Yo, man, this guy's like a Casanova vampire, you know? You saw those ladies at the club just like reaching for him and wanting to touch him. So I guess he just, you know, has that ability, that power to have an aura about him that, uh, I guess women just gravitate towards him. Oh, shit. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I like that visual right there. It's a nice shot. All right, but if you're going to that house, you got to take out that guy first, his friend. Hit him over the head, tie him up, something. Peter Vincent, ready to do battle. Peter, this is <laughs> there we go. All right, man. So he he's going for it. Nice. Flashlight, stakes, hammer. Ah, yes. Cross. What about Billy Cole? How are you going to stop him? Lose this. It is from Orgy. <laughs> what if he's not right. human? Well, bullets aren't going to stop him then. He is in daylight. Around in the daylight. Now, doesn't he? He is human. Going to take him out the old-fashioned way. I want to thank you. Oh, no. That's cool, I like that. You know, it's like a little redemption story for him. What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing at all. There you go. Fuck yeah, I like that. Go in there. Crazy. Chest out. Head held up high. Let's go around the back and sneak it. Uh, <laughs> don't go in through the front door. It's a trap. Look at that. Too late. Oh, well, yeah. If they know you're there, then I guess at this I, point. I am Peter Vincent. <laughs> Great vampire. Come on, believe it, feel it, become it. Dude, this house is awesome. I like that they uh, that they chose this house. It has a very spooky feel to it. Did you hear something? No. Let's come back at dawn. Just be asleep then. That shit would have been a good idea. Why the hell are you going at night? Amy will be dead by then too. Now come on. Eek. <laughs> He's right there. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Fright Night. Oh, he's gonna mock him. <laughs> Shit. Bastard. For real. The real deal, man. Up here, all you have to do is get by me. <laughs> Conniving, charming son of a bitch. Spawn of Satan. <laughs> <laughs> really? Wait, this won't work on him or what? Why not on him? Well, I mean, the other cross didn't work on him earlier when Charlie did it, but he was working on you this. You have to have faith for this to work on me. But it worked on the evil kid. Maybe there's layers to vampires, like a hierarchy. Stop! He has faith in it, okay. I'm gonna make it. Oh no, damn. Come on, take the gun out. Take him out. 
<laughs> Come on. Come on, Peter. <laughs> Bro. Where was the gun? Mrs. Brewster! Mrs. Brewster! Operator, it can't be that. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. Don't tell me his mom is. This is Brewster. Phone wires have been cut. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's ugly, bro. I did it. Dude, his teeth are like protruding outwards. Apparently, she's working nights. <laughs> but she left a note. Uh, mm -hmm. Dinner's in the oven! <laughs> no Where point in even reading that fucking note, man. <laughs> Where's your gear, Peter? Come on, bro, you gotta have another crucifix on you, some holy water, steaks on your belt or something. What? Alright, that's something could turn into a wolf. Oh, that looks cool! There you go. There you go, all right. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. There's like some kind of puppet or something that they're using right there. Oh. It's like he's a wolf and a vampire. Like a werewolf. Oh, oh, dude, that's awesome! Practical effect, that's so cool, look at that! Oh, yes! Look how gnarly that looks! Oh, that looks so good, yes! Nice! Don't reach for his hand, bro, come on. Finish him. Oh, the slow transformation back. Look at that. He feels bad for him. Oh, yeah, he feels bad for having to do that. That's a, that's a, uh, I would think a real reaction, you know? It's like his first actual kill of, of anything, right? So he would react that way. You wanted her. Here. Gonna need it just before dawn. What have you done to her? Becoming one or is one. <laughs> Smile, dude. <laughs> He's proud of himself. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Bro. Oh man, he's so sinister, but I I like what he's bringing to the character, man. It's working, it's working. Hey, wait, wait. Is, is, isn't he like supposed to turn into like ashes or something? He just turned, I guess, human again and is just dead now. A couple of, couple of things here that are different. Look at that, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> He's like, I gotta deal with, I gotta deal with this now. There you go. That looks so cool. Yes. Charlie. Watch out, bro. Watch out. Peter, I'm gonna have to break the door down. Make as much noise as you can. Help! Help! <laughs> All right, bro. Help! Come on, I think you're gonna need more than that little bump with your shoulder. I think she just opened her eyes. <laughs> Okay, I don't. <laughs> he Look, probably would have dislocated his shoulder. We have a visitor. Is it too late to save her? Not if we kill Dandridge before dawn. All right, so she can be saved. Yo, her hair—it's red. She's becoming a redhead. I want to see uh, kind of what she looks like. <laughs> what do we have here? <laughs> this Vampire guy. killer. Where's the gun? There you go. I mean it. Don't force me to shoot. Oh, right. There we go. Stop. He warned him. <laughs> All right. What? Wait, what? How? How? He was in daylight. Ah, oh, shit. 
Dude, how was he able to get around that? Around daylight? That <laughs> shitload of smoke. Get ready with a steak, man, if you have to. What the hell? What is he? Where's the steak? Stab him. Oh, God. There we go. Ah. Uh. All right, so that'll work on him, I guess, but... Oh, dude, oh. Ooh. Yes, yes. Disgusting, but awesome. Look at this. Sand? Okay, green ooze and sand just melted away. Oh, yes, let's go. Let's go. I like that. So what was what was he then? Par vampire or something else? Amy. Vida! Oh shit. She's running out of time. Be awake. I command you. Awake. Man, I want to see her like full on. See what that red hair looks like when it's down. <laughs> Go together, Jesus, there you go. No, oh, no, 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 splitting up. Ha. Hey, yo, without the teeth though, man, just, she would look. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so he has faith in it now too, right? So that's why it worked. Johnny, he's not up here. Come on, bro, watch out. Oh, <laughs> that it's got an underbite. <laughs> Look at that. The fucking thing looks crazy, dude. <laughs> uh. Still doesn't have the faith he needs, I guess, for it to work on him. <sighs> ah. There we go. Got faith in it now. All right. Don. Out of time. Look over your shoulder. I mean, all he's got to do is stay out of the sunlight. Oh. Oh, dude. <laughs> Come on, Charlie. Where are you? Help, help Peter out. Oh. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 okay, he's bit now, shit. Oh, you have to kill him now. There we go. Ah, oh, come on, man. Oh, quick, he's in the basement. Oh, no, 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 yeah, and he's bit too now. Shit, in the basement with no damn sunlight. What was that? I mean, you keep searching, I'll check it out. Oh, hello. Ha. Ah. Ah, oh, man, that white dress is a little wet, man. You see that? There's the coffin. I found it. Don't be frightened, Charlie. Peter, get it open it from the inside. Strangely frightened, but also feeling something else. <laughs> Don't you want me anymore? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> you promise, let him get me. Mm. You Ah, oh, dear Jesus, no. Oh, uh, uh, no, no, no. Damn. Oh, that's frightening. Oh, yeah, you try and kiss her, you might not get your lips back. Come on, do it. He's got some protection on him then, man. If that doesn't work on him, it's gotta be the sunlight. There you go. Come on, grab him and pull him towards you. Oh, but, but if they wanna save her, they gotta cover her up.
Let's go. There you hey, go. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. Don't give him a chance. Shit. <laughs> Charlie, come help. There, 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 come on. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. Mmm. <laughs> Calling out for his girl. Alright, so is she fine? Is she gonna keep that uh, long flowing red hair? Uh, I don't think so. There she is though. She's back. Okay, Charlie, it is time. Time to become a man. There we go. I like that. It's their, their friend Evil that uh, kind of just got the short end of the stick there. Just like the start of the film. Going in a circle. Right. Hey, yo, here we go. Bright night is Peter Vincent back once more as host of Bright Night. Nice, there we go. I thought we'd let the vampires rest a little while. Right, Charlie. <laughs> nice. First comes nothing. Oh, shit. Is something wrong? No. Oh, no, 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 bro. You saw something. We all saw something. <laughs> oh, you're so cool, Brewster. <laughs> all right, come on, man. <laughs> so his friend somehow pulled through after that? All right. Okay, so that, that was super fun. I, I, I like that. Just to bring um, the Lost Boys into play here, some, some very different styles. Um, I would say the Lost Boys had more of kind of this uh, heavy musical element, MTV music video type elements. This is kind of what what comes to mind a little bit when I think of the Lost Boys as well. Here, I think it felt a little bit more probably like traditional vampire, but still just some super awesome and kind of unique elements here as well. So when we start our film out, we're introduced uh, to Charlie and Amy. And, you know, Charlie's just consistently letting us down. He's not sealing the deal. We just have like one moment of them in school and we're introduced to Evil, who his character, man, <laughs> that dude uh, was super quirky. I, I felt like he was kind of hamming it up a bit, which it's good to have uh, uh, fun, you know, in, in, in a film in a film like this. So I felt like he was probably hamming it up a little bit too much. I think some lines, some delivery worked for me, but there was also just a portion of it where it kind of felt like, okay, man, you're you're doing this a little too much. Like, this is this all your character is, I guess, you know, just this quirky um, guy that uh, is kind of kind of goofy at times and does look like Beavis from Beavis and Butthead. And so Charlie's mom, yeah, she's definitely uh, easily smitten by the neighbor and wants to, I guess, find a way to get back into the dating scene. And so it's easy for Jerry to right charm her and, and make his way into the house and be invited, which is another thing too. So when... <sighs> You invite a vampire one time, is that, again, right? Just, they have free liberty there the entire time? Like, you wouldn't have to invite them again after they leave the house at some point? Like, I guess that's, I guess that's how it works. Then we get Jerry um, making his way back to the house and completely manhandling and tossing Charlie around, which, you know, he offered him that possible agreement like look you kind of go your way i go my way we forget about this and honestly <laughs> i would have taken that option man again though right uh, one thing that i mentioned is that if you did though you'd have to kind of be looking over your shoulder because at some point he may want to tie up that loose end but at least it buys you time at least it buys you a way to um build some kind of strategy or something right to wear you can get to him, you know, you can find a way to do away with his helper who will get to him here in a bit. But um, yeah, I could have bought him some time. But then also that would have drawn a lot of attention to that area and would have questioned the neighbors at some point. You know, I'm surprised he still didn't just kind of continue to offer that, look, this is an option. But ultimately find a way to do away with Charlie but not right next door, not with everything being tossed to shit inside the house, like maybe when he's up and about somewhere. Very early we see, you know, the makeup work and just the hands of the vampire and 
the fangs and then just how he turns into this really really ugly terrible looking version terrible looking in a, in a good way right the makeup was was really awesome you know just the context that they had in in there for him which i wonder if that shit hurts like uh, someone mentioned in the lost boys comment that I guess those kinds of contacts can really, really bother you. The makeup work is already, you know, really working for me. At that point, we haven't really gotten anything like super practical yet, but then we end up getting to that. And so then now Charlie has to find a way to ultimately get to the vampire before they get to him. He gets to the cops, <laughs> he goes in there with, with a police officer, which would be a, a strange way to, I would imagine, perform some kind of, you know, I mean, it's not really an investigation yet, but you just walk in with the cop into someone's house and then the person's able to just accuse that right there in that moment and the guy's just playing it off, doing a good job, by the way, of like making Charlie look like he's just a complete nutcase, right? And he's kind of like just laughing it off and being sarcastic about it. So, and then Charlie talks his way out of it by acting, acting like a nutcase, just throwing out, you know, there's a cop in there, he's a vampire. You could have just said, look, I heard something, I saw these two guys carry something then from outside then into the basement and that would have gotten the cop there. He talks his way out of that, um, out of the house. Cops don't believe him at this point. Sounds like a complete nutball. He locates Peter Vincent, which he's local. That's, <laughs> I guess that's convenient, you know? That had to be the case, right? In order to have the plot go forward. Yeah, we're introduced to Peter, who I like that character, man. <laughs> he has, um, you know, he has a charisma about him. And just from the start, you know, just the way he looks at Charlie when Charlie's explaining to him that he believes in vampires. And <laughs> how he tries to just like run away from him, dude. He just looks at him like, oh, this is like a crazy person that I need to get away from. Just, just that whole sequence right there was hilarious. So then Amy and Evil, which I guess he never really was his friend. I mean, just someone he, knows associates with kind of just has a you know there is more of an acquaintance because i really didn't see any kind of true friendship there at all and they're able to get peter to go to jerry's house so how did he get around the holy water either peter vincent never got it blessed or jerry did something to it when he was kind of hovering it over the uh, the fireplace and maybe even that that particular method does not work in this universe because after that it was it was never brought again right they didn't they didn't bring holy water with them to toss at at jerry so i guess maybe that's something that just that just doesn't work uh in this particular universe of vampires peter starts shitting bricks when he sees that jerry doesn't have a, re a reflection and uh, yeah at that point you could tell that Jerry kind of knows something's going on, like maybe he found out. It immediately cuts to Jerry taking action. He's not gonna, he's not gonna take a risk. He, he knows he needs to tie up these loose, loose ends, right? So he goes after evil. And I, I like that whole dark alley, fog, kind of just chase that's going on into this endless alley. When Jerry was talking to evil and saying those things to him, so I guess it's that evil is a, he has a certain facade about him. He'll make fun of others, joke around a lot, but deep down, you know, he has a lot of, he has a lot of insecurities and a lot of doubt and a lot going on within him. And I guess Jerry saw that and was able to exploit it and leverage it. And we could see that evil was kind of harboring some kind of deep feelings there because it looks like he started feeling like pain and sadness and and you could see the tears coming out of his eyes and I guess he just gave in and accepted to accept the Jerry's offer. I guess that's interesting on that character, you know, uh, everything that he was showing, he was probably overdoing it and doing it so much because there is something behind that facade that evil has put up. So then I guess then that's, then that works. Uh, it, it would work that he kept acting that way and acting like a jerk and would not seize up and would not stop because there's, he's got a lot of insecurities and he's hiding something that's really there. So I guess that makes sense. Dude, that, that club scene, that, that was, that was pretty awesome. I liked that. But even before that, we get them running from him and they're in a group of people yet they're, they, they go towards this dark area and he's kind of, you know, just playing with them. He's going from one spot to another spot to another spot. And when they get into the club, freaking Charlie makes a phone call and he's not paying attention. He's not, he's not making sure that Amy is right there with him. We see Jerry take advantage of this, has the ability, has the power 
to have someone gravitate towards him. And so I guess he was, you know, targeting Amy in that way. And whatever he was doing at that moment, I guess was semi working on others because we saw some other women look like they were becoming infatuated with him and were kind of touching him as he walked by. But his target and beam, I guess, was towards Amy. So she was the one kind of probably feeling it the most but others were still kind of maybe kind of picking up on that. I like what they did whenever she was dancing and we saw the reflection and we couldn't see him and she was just kind of dancing on her own. That was that was pretty cool. And Jerry, dude, he, he went ahead and just had those bouncers eat shit right there in front of everybody. You know, so I'm surprised he didn't go the route of just trying to punch them or throw them, throw them you know, to the other side of, of the club, something. But no, he straight up sprung out the claws and and got one guy in the neck, lifted one other guy, you know, several feet off the air. I mean, completely given away that he's something supernatural, you know, that he's something that's not human. So that was that was surprising that he did that right there in front of everyone. And again, it, it could be something that even people that, you know, if they ever did see something like that, they'd probably, you know, convince themselves, hey, it's dark, dim lighting, I've had some drinks, thought I saw something, didn't really see something. Still surprising that he would go ahead and just unleashed like that in front of everyone. You know, now to the character of, of Jerry's, I, I guess I'll call him his minion or something. <laughs> his, dude, anytime he showed up on screen and he had this kind of look, uh, the way he would look at, at Charlie was just fucking hilarious, dude. Uh, from from every moment, every scene that we got, he was just right there in the background, just, just staring in a certain type of way. And the dialogue that he had and the lines that he had and being so sarcastic all the time, that, that was funny, I liked that. So he was in daylight, so that didn't impact him. And I thought that gunshot, yeah, yeah, dude, I thought he, I thought that was it for him. I thought he bit the dust right there. But asshole gets back up and gets shot several more times. And so I'm like, what the hell, he was in daylight. Finally gets the stake through the heart and then he starts to melt. So was he part vampire? Was he something else? What exactly was, was what type of creature? was he if not if not a vampire so you know he melted spewing out like green ooze and sand is coming off of him and obviously then melts and you know skeleton and then just blows up bones go everywhere just an awesome 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 practical effect man um and then that reminds me with evil dude okay so then he turned into a wolf chases peter gets stabbed, and then, you know, he reverts, starts reverting back to human form, which again, another, another awesome looking practical effect, man. I like that they did it in transitions, in like phases, right? So first he's a wolf, and then we see he's already, you know, got some human parts going as far as like his, his legs and his hands, but still all of this right here is still like some kind of wolf form. It looked awesome, dude. It looked, it looked badass. And he starts tra transforming a little bit more and a little bit more. Uh, so then we just see kind of his face is still kind of like, you know, getting back to human form. So I like that they didn't, you know, just cut away from where the wolf was to him being just back human. And I like that they did it in those, in those phases. He ended up what looked like just becoming human again and then passing away. Didn't melt, didn't blow up, didn't, you know, turn into ashes or anything like that. Didn't go out the same way that Jerry's minion sidekick did and, or the way that Jerry did as well. So I wonder, I wonder what, why that is. I'm gonna have, I, I'm, right after I'm done, I'm gonna look some of this up. I wanna find out what that minion really was. I wanna know why evil didn't melt and, and die. And he still showed up there at the end, dude, the eyes. <laughs> Amy, by the way, dude. I like the way they had her vampire transformation. So she's there in a lovely white gown. And her hair, dude, just like this this gold, this, this like red fire, long hair. Dude, when she transformed and we saw her mouth, just like, oh no, <laughs> like I said, man, you kiss that girl. You're not getting any of this back. This whole thing is gone. <laughs> That's going with her, man. She looked like uh, the character from Mortal Kombat, man. Is it, again, am I getting that right? Baraka? Uh, he's got, yeah, if you go look look him up or just Mortal Kombat character, guy Mortal Kombat character with just this whole thing. Or there's also a chick character that kind of has that same mouth look. But 
Yeah, dude, that was gnarly. She was on some kind of different kind of level because it's there was different looks to the vampires here. Evil had, you know, his fangs kind of protruding out. Jerry had a certain kind of like look to him. It's Amy having a different kind of look to, to when, when she was full on evil, full transformation vampire. Also, Jerry wasn't killed by the stake in his chest. So he's able to get around a lot of different things. Like even when Peter Vincent had the cross against Jerry, you need to have faith as Charlie did. But Peter Vincent was able to use that crucifix on like Evil and even Amy. But when it comes to Jerry, anyone that puts that a crucifix in front of him has to have faith or it will not work. There were some different rules here. That stake did not take him out. It had to be sunlight. The film had an awesome kind of blend of comedy here. And I love, dude, I love what the actor did with Jerry's character, man. The dude was so charismatic he was so charming he was smooth man from when we first really get that look at him in the living room when he's just sitting back and we get that music you know and he's just over there with his hand on the couch and then he pops just pops up like that the dude is smooth man he brought something into this character that just showed us someone that is easy to gravitate towards so after seeing that in his character it was so easy to buy kind of everything else that he can hide in plain sight, that he can charm others, that you can gravitate towards him because he almost has, dude, he almost has this sex appeal about him. So, you know, you believe, okay, Amy and, and, and others would gravitate towards him even before he kind of really started putting her in that trance and they went to go see him at his house and he just immediately locks eyes with her and he grabs her hand and kisses her. I mean, she's charmed by that. She starts, you could tell that she's kind of smitten by it as is the mom. So. I, I really like what he brought to, to the character, man. To, to me, one thing that got lost here a little bit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up as well, just because I'm a big soundtrack guy. I did see, hear some scores that I liked. I don't think there was something that was like, kind of like a main theme here. And so I'm, I'm gonna look that up after I'm done here. I'm gonna do a little bit of research on this. And with Charlie's character, we got a few different things with him. At the onset, we see, right, that He's a regular 16, 17, 18 year old, uh, you know, teenager. So he's trying to get to the next couple of bases with his girlfriend. And once things start kind of going down, he becomes frazzled, he becomes worried, he becomes, you know, paranoid in a way. And you see that in his character and you see how desperate and stressed out, <laughs> how stressed out he is, you know, so much so that it's fucking making you stressed out and you can't help but to be like, dude, chill out, relax. Like, because you're talking yourself out of like this by saying, just yelling out, it's a vampire. And then people are gonna look at you like you're a nutcase. But in that, in that headspace, after seeing what you've seen, man, could you act any other kind of way? So yeah, we got, we got kind of those different characteristics from him and ultimately leading into something that where he's gonna he's gonna fight back he's gonna be brave he's gonna risk his own life to save the girl that he loves i kind of like that whole kind of character arc about him as well as peter vincent man so we were introduced to him in a, in a certain kind of way the way that he is yeah i mean he he's an actor he knows that this stuff isn't real and so he's not buying charlie's story and then wants to get the hell away from it when he realizes that it's true but I, I, I love that moment that we get between him and Charlie and Peter's apartment. And you see kind of that internal struggle uh, within Peter Vincent. You know, just everything that he's worked on. He, it's something that he never truly believed in. But I'm sure he was, you know, a fan of it and fascinated by it and, and enjoyed kind of having that kind of work. But it's real. It's true. And so now he has to truly be that. He has to become what he portrayed as an actor. And to him, it's difficult, it's hard. There are also some things going on uh, personally, right? I mean, he just lost his job. He probably, you know, was already going through some initial stages of depression about it. He has to step up. He has to find some internal strength within him. And so again, I love that moment that they had in the apartment. Then they go together. It's like Peter Vincent, you know, vampire hunter, vampire killer, you know, here to do his job. He's ready to go. And he still has those moments of, of being afraid, but he's finding the strength that he needs 
to ultimately overcome, overpower, and, and work with Charlie to take out the vampire. Another moment that I loved from him is when he did take out evil. And you see kind of that shock and that sadness within him that he really did just kill someone. Someone who was a vampire, but he had met them not too long ago and they were human. He, it looked like he felt bad and sad for evil. Getting emotional and tears are coming down down his face. With some other films, right? You get characters that will kill a monster or something like that. And it's like, on to the next thing. But here, he took out evil until we realize evil is still there, but he took him out. And dude, it, it hurts him. And he feels awful about it. And he's seeing this this kid come back to human form and pass. And so I, I, I liked that moment. I liked how he delivered that. So I, I, I really enjoyed his performance. I liked this film. It was fun. It was engaging. Um, it had good comedic elements in there. It had great practical effects. Uh, it had good likable characters and led by an awesome, awesome uh, portrayal by, uh, by the actor who played Jerry. So I, I really, really enjoyed his performance. And you know, this is one of many vampire films that I am going to be checking out. With that said, please consider subscribing to the channel, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next reaction.